cool is this? I love the smell of horsepower. Can you tell? This is an amazing thing, the Engine Master Challenge. I want to give you a little brief rundown how this works. All right, you have a team, you build engines, you send them here. The engines have to be created. Take this, all right? Donkey Racing, DNA, these guys, they create their engine, they send it here, security takes over from there. They watch all the engines. Nobody can touch the engines once they've been sent here. All right, we take the engines, bring them out. The students, they get them ready to put them on the stands, which will take them into the dyno room. What do we got here? Uh, what we have here is uh, Mr. Hinkle's motor. Uh, my students are putting it together, putting it on the dyno cart and getting ready to make a dyno pull. Take a look at this, all right? Here's where the motors go in a staging area. While they've been, once they've been uncreated, we bring them over here. Take a look at this ride. Contestant number 22, whose engine is this? Is this yours? Yes, it is. All right, what's your name, sir? Chuck Keach. And what's the name of your company? Uh, KTC. Keach Trailer. I saw this over there when it came out of the box. What are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at a 5.7 uh, Dodge, 04 Dodge uh, pickup Hemi. Yeah, what's the secret inside? The secret, well, it's a half-inch stroke and a 20-inch overbore. It's a uh, crate motor uh, intake manifold from Mopar. This is a Holley uh, earlier type of uh, throttle body fuel injection. Now, is this your first time at the Engine Master oh, Challenge? Yeah. This is all new to me. I'm learning as I go. Pretty excited to see some of those pulls. Where do you think you're going to fall in? Uh, that's, I don't know. <laughs> All these guys sit around the motors. You ask them what's in it, and they say, oh, you know, it's a small block Chevy. It's a 396 with strokes out to four something and about 600 horsepower. You're gonna see this. All you guys looking very serious today. Look at some of these faces. When it comes to horsepower, these guys have it wrapped, locked and loaded. Here's one of the most serious guys I've seen. We saw his crate earlier. His motor came out. It did very well. DNA, DNA, you guys are from Georgia, right? Right. Oh, donkey power, that's what I hear. Yeah. On the side of his motor, it says, powered donkey power, donkey. That's this guy, Georgia Red Clay. I think something special is in that motor. You guys did a great job. We're going to be looking for you tonight. After the motor's uncrate, goes to the first tech inspection, goes outside, and we bring it down to the chassis dyno in here. Now, what we've done is we've taken part of the chassis dyno out so we can make a photo studio. Follow me. We'll take a look. It's all where everyone else can't go. Nobody can see this except people with this. Kind of cool to have all access. Okay, look in here. This is where the guys have their motors photoed. I don't know why I think we should be quiet, but you know, follow me. Everybody's really quiet. Now you don't have to be quiet. How you guys doing? What's happening? What do we get? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Atlantic Motors. This is a very cool idea. What we're looking at here is a late model Hemi fuel injection. And here's the thing I want to point out. Bob, the guy who, who uh, runs Atlantic Racing Motors, stole this from his wife. You think I'm playing? Take a look. Close here. He said, what do you think this is? Now, <laughs> try to find a part that has a spout, all right? And the telltale is, is where the handle went right here. Now, after the photo booth, the headers get installed in here. This is where we got to be very calm because there are people running around and they're very serious, all right? This is where we get everything set up and the dyno in there and then it all runs from this position here. Those dials mean everything to the guys who build these engines. You gotta be very nice to this guy. <laughs> How are some of the motors going? Uh, so far, pretty good, pretty good. It, it surprised me. We had a couple of issues or ones that didn't make it, but most of them are doing okay. Issues, by issues, well, we had a, a, a push rod that looked like it was going to stab someone if it came out of that valve cover. We only had one complete destruction that I know of. Other ones were minor things, or the tune-up was off and they couldn't make a pull. If they can't make a pull... Got to be real nice to this guy. He's at the throttle controls, <laughs> and it's make something. Break you. <laughs> you heard it. Now, let's take a look. Make sure we don't get run over here. This is where the guys get really serious. All right, what happens is... They put the engine on the dyno chassis, they put the headers on, the exhaust go outside. You can hear it for miles. The engine gets up to temperature, they take three warm-up rounds, and then they print out the data from the dyno. They have about a minute to look over the data. Then what happens is they have 15 minutes to make any adjustments tuning while the tech supervisor stands there and watches. They tune it up for 15 minutes, then they get three pulls. All right, three pulls. 
I think we have a problem here. See, this is why we got to make sure we're out of the way because they're going to start moving very quickly. The three poles, well, the business starts in just minutes. <laughs> Once those guys start doing their thing, the three poles happen, we run in here, and the data appears on this big screen. Now you can see, there's the leaderboard. This is where it sometimes it's a little painful, because as you watch some of these high horsepower motors, they start out at the top, and then as the day goes on, we're early in the week, they start trickling down. We've got to find a horsepower king or a torque monster. That's what we're looking for. Can you imagine being the torque monster? This is the engine master challenge. This is worldwide. You're going to love it. Keep watching. There's no door there. Thanks. <laughs>